We are here at Riverside Park with Deb Bowker, and uh, she is in charge of activities here in the area. And we have many right here within our site right here. Tell us what, what, what can we come do here in the at Riverside Park? All right. Well, this is the location of the town office, a 1001 carriage road. We have a beautiful park, which entails our double basketball court area mm. and our tennis courts. We have two which we utilize for both tennis and pickleball lessons, as mm -hmm. well as open play. Um, we have a beautiful pool named after Sam Wright, the Samantha Wright Memorial Pool, which offers a variety of different lap swimming and lessons. Um, our day camp is centered here at the town park. So when we have our six week camp, uh, the children are here every day, nine to four. Um, we also have the pavilion area that we lease out to special group, special interest groups, if they're interested in utilizing it and a bathhouse and a shower area it's all here to use and as you mentioned there there are lessons as well yeah. that's starting up again the tennis lessons i know that was a, a big thing last yep. year um chris prudente will probably start on june 26 which is a monday mm -hmm. uh, and he offers he'll be offering youth lessons at outdoor adventure camp youth lessons to the public and adult mixed doubles with the seniors mm -hmm. as well as mixed doubles and singles. So we'll be pretty busy at the court. And Dan Lacombe will be offering um, pickleball lessons for adults this yeah. summer. Now, let's talk about mountain biking. Okay. Because there's a lot to talk about there. Right, yeah. yeah. So we have two full-time trail crews and we're in need of uh, an excavator operator under the direction of Josh Tosis. We are building in a couple different areas, the Wyman lot, and then we do a little bit of maintenance here throughout the trail network. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a large network that encompasses the outdoor center. We're repairing damage right now that took place from the latest flood right. on the narrow gauge pathway. We anticipate that work to begin on the narrow gauge pathway the week of June 6. The trail will be closed, but keep, keep informed with the updates. We'll let you folks know so you can mm -hmm. let the public know. Um, we have a wonderful mountain bike camp happening the last two weeks in July with the head instructor, Carrie Willette, Katie Casey will be coming back this year, who's worked for us for years, Andy Gillespie, and we have junior counselors that um, work for us. They work their way through to be an adult advanced counselor. That's pretty popular. Is there any opening? There are. Actually, for the first time in Whoa. probably nine years, we mm. have opportunities for grades 6 through 12, youth mm. mostly intermediate to advanced. And all of that information is on our town website. You can click into the recreation page and look up that information. Now, let's talk a little bit. Uh, Scott Hoisington's going, you're sending him back to school, is that true? Yes. Yeah. Now, Hoisey's a level four instructor, instructor is skiing, yeah. and he's a PGA professional golf coach. He's going to be doing that for us. He does uh, travel golf on Mondays, yeah. so opportunities for youth. You can find the, that information online, but he's also going to be our uh, advanced swift water instructor this year out throughout the area. We're going to travel to Clearwater, Flagstaff, Wilson, Porter, um, and Bill Parker, our head lifeguard, will be traveling as well as Lance Dolan and the other lifeguards. We, we split out the time. Cassidy Strunk will be back yeah. filling in as an instructor uh, uh, on water for safety and first aid. Um, that information is being put together. We have an advanced kayak program on Thursdays for teenagers, mm -hmm. specifically teenagers. We've got kids that started out in the program eight, nine years ago that are junior counselors that really still want to paddle. So mm -hmm. we want to give them that opportunity. Right. So we're pretty excited about that. And yeah, Swift School takes place in um, Shirley, Maine. So mm -hmm. Scott will be away for two or three days. That's probably not the first time he's been in deep water. That's right. That's perfect. <laughs> He's the guy because he can relate to teaching. He's yeah. he's definitely one of He's them. born to teach. He was born. That is very complimentary. Yeah, yeah I've teach. got the goosebumps on that yeah. one. Yeah. So we've got a lot going on. Um, are, you, are you still in need of any people? We definitely, definitely need some more trail crew. And Anne could use two adult counselors and a half a day assistant or a half-time assistant, another adult, so basically three adults mm -hmm. to get us through camp because we don't want to have to turn around and reconstruct right. everything that we've just worked on for six months. Mm -hmm. So we have a plea out there. Please help us make sure the opportunities take place this summer for the children of the area. 
And every time it's summer camp, the sun shines. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Camp, camp, lots of fun. Yeah. Well, we just dim the lights just here because the lighting's good for you. <laughs> Looks good. That's a great color on you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thanks, Deb. Did we, did we cover everything? I think we did. Boy, you are good. Thank you so much for all your information and all the hard work you do around Thank here. We you. appreciate it. All right. Have a great Memorial Weekend, everyone. Be Stay safe. safe. You Wear your life jackets. Watch out for ticks. <laughs>